In this video, as the title suggests, I'm going to go over mitosis, but I'm also going to be mentioning interphase and cytokinesis. A good summary slide provided here. A couple more of those will occur throughout the video presentation. So starting with mitosis, it is involved with cell replication. It's cells making more identical copies of cells. And identical is the key word here. If we're not having identical copies, we have mutations. Good thing if it's simply like a copy machine, we want to produce as close to the original as possible. That way we can ensure the same functions of our cells. The cell cycle are two main components, interphase and mitosis. So mitosis is actually the process of cell division. Interphase, though, is a little slightly different phase. There are subdivisions of interphase, those being G0, which is just a resting phase. G1 is the growth in metabolism. S is DNA replication. G2 is growth of structural elements. And M is actually the mitosis phase. This gives a little bit of approximation of time to give you an idea of the eukaryotic replication cycle that does occur. Um, mitosis here, broken into these phases, like prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telekinesis, and then cytokinesis. Interphase here is that G2 phase is occurring. And the interphase is the stage where living cells are when they're not dividing. It's indicated by chromosomes not being visible with a light microscope. Here is our interphase with a gray region here. Mitosis is occurring in this darker region. And you can see again those terms G1, S, and G2. Interphase is G1 is referring to when the cell increases in size. S is again that DNA replication portion. And G2 is the mitochondria and other organelles begin to divide before the cell actually enters officially mitosis. You can see here mitosis is basically cell division and there's four main steps plus the last step of cytokinesis kind of broken out in different than the four main steps of mitosis. It occurs in the meristems, which are stem tips, where there's a lot of actively dividing cells, and then root tips, where there's a lot of actively dividing cells. It can occur at other parts throughout the plant, but these are areas where you're likely to find a high rate of cell division. Starting with prophase, chromosomes form into chromatids. So we have our chromosomes forming into our sister chromatids, where they're replication phase, and then we're going into mitosis, uh, where we're basically separating those out to form two identical cells. This shows a little bit of an example here where our sister chromatids located in the nucleus. <clears throat> Prophase chromatin condenses into chromosomes. The nucleolus di disappears. So nuclear envelope fragments and nucleolus disintegrates. Remember, the nucleolus from our organelles is where the rRNA is made. We're looking at that nuclear envelope, envelope beginning to fragment. The chromatids are condensing, making them more visible. Prophase are polar microtubules shown in green, kind of in this image here, are strands that established a matrix around the currently intact nucleus. This will break down <clears throat> uh, and will fragment, but right now it's still intact, but we're seeing this webbing being um, starting to occur. The condensing chromosomes are in blue here. The red dots, kind of pinkish dots we see here, are the centromeres, and that's involved with DNA. Prometaphase is kind of in between prophase and metaphase. It's where we have our spindle fibers anchoring at the poles, those here and here. The nuclear membrane fully breaks down, and our kinetochore microtubules invade the nuclear space. These kinetochores are now starting to attach to the chromosomes and are starting to get some level of organization now that the nucleus is broken down. We see a little bit of a change here in prometaphase. The nuclear membrane um, has just basically broken apart. The microtubules quickly interact with the kinetochores, which assemble the centromeres to condense chromosomes. So what's this mean? Well, because our nucleus is breaking apart, we now need these fibers to grab onto these chromosomes to be able to hold on to them and get them in alignment as we're going through the process of cell division. Metaphase here. Chromosomes line up along the metaphase plate. Now, we call it a metaphase plate on um, lining up on the equator that we have on the globe here, but remember, this is an imaginary plane, both on the globe and also in the cell. There's no true plate that they're all kind of lining up and 
pressing on. Uh, it's just lining up in that middle and it's an imaginary kind of line. But they do form this line, just like the equator on the globe. Metaphase are uh, spindle fables attached to the centromere. So this is right here. Centromere is that red region. And that's kind of where these two join together. And that is a point of attachment that will then allow these two to then be separated and broken apart to form the two identical cells. You kind of see that forming here. Uh, Mino fluorescence microscope took this image. Our centromeres have moved to the poles of the cell and have established a, the mutatic spindle. The chromosomes have condensed on the metaphase plate. You kind of see a little bit of a lineup here in that central uh, imaginary region. Anaphase. This is the shortest time to complete of all the phases. Centromeres are broken apart the two sister chromatids into daughter chromosomes. Basically, we see that we're, we're all initially lined up on the plate, and now they're being broken apart and pulled to the poles here. This happens in unison. You can see they're all kind of in alignment. And it happens in the least amount of time as any of the phases of mitosis. Anaphase, the chromosomes break at the centromeres, and sister chromatids move to opposite ends of the cell. Again, those daughter chromosomes are then moving towards the poles. Remember, this is all happening basically at the same time in unison. Anaphase, you can see that example here. We kind of get the idea of them pulling here. Our kinetochores, microtubules, are pulling the two sets uh, towards the poles here. And this is creating two halves of the dividing cell further apart while the chromosomes are condensed. You can see those centromeres here, those little red regions. Telophase in cytokinesis is where the nuclear membrane reforms and nucleoli reappear. Chromosomes unwind into chromatin. Myosin 1 and actin filament rings contract to cleave the cell into two. That cleavage fur is where in that contracting ring is where the cell is basically starting to kind of pinch or where it's ultimately going to break apart there. So telophase or telophase is reverse, reversal of prophase and prometaphase events, thus completing the cell cycle. And we can see that here we're now, even visually, seeing basically two separate and distinct cells. That mitosis phase gave you that again, that kind of refresher of what interphase is. You could see the um, DNA is very hard to see. It's very thin. Here we're condensing it down. The nuclear envelope is starting to kind of break down a little bit. Metaphase is very distinctive. Everything lined up on the plate. Anaphase, very quick time where they're separating out. And here in telophase, we're starting to get that cleavage for it. We're starting to get that pinch point in the middle. Um, action packed because there's five main events occurring in telophase. So while we like to simplify it there, there are actually five things going on during this one phase. The daughter chromosomes are becoming surrounded by a nuclear envelope. See that here? We're starting to form that protective nucleus over the DNA structure. Also, during telophase, daughter chromosomes become longer and thinner and become invisible. They become invisible because they're becoming from a condensed state to a very relaxed state. And the reason why they're getting into that relaxed state is it makes it easier for DNA uh, replication of certain genes that may be needed by the cell. If everything was all condensed and packed together, it would be really hard to get at DNA. So that's why it becomes invisible, because it's becoming thinner. It's becoming more single-stranded than it is a dense coil. During telophase also, nucleoli become visible again. A little hard to see here, it's the kind of the nucleus within the nucleus, and it's that, typically that little darker region, very evident in this cell here. Also, many of the spindle fibers begin to break apart. They were needed for separating out the chromosomes here, but they're starting to disintegrate and basically fall apart because they're no longer needed at this particular phase. Lastly, if we're talking about plant cells, uh, the cell plate will form. Remember, this is only for a plant cell because they have a cell wall. So we're getting into that cell plate or that cell wall that's forming. And that's kind of what it looks like in a real life cell. That is the cell plate, and that's ultimately going to join up here and form a cell wall between these two newly formed identical cells. Cytokinesis is the actual separation to two independent cells here. It's the very end of the mitotic phase, and it's actually considered its own separate phase. And that's when the two cells actually are separating out completely. This is a very simple summary, so hopefully you can follow along uh, with this here, with some of the what's going on at the different phases. Interphase, early prophase, late prophase, metaphase is very distinctive with them all being lined up on the plate. And then anaphase we have here, and then telophase. This would be followed by cytokinesis.
you're looking for a wonderful summary slide of everything, uh, this is the entire process here with um, nice bullet points for each. Also gives a wonderful images of uh, the cell, how it looks with the stain and dye here of the immunofluorescence microscope uh, to get you an idea of how it looks on a cartoon image showing the things in detail gives you those descriptions and then the real world image with the bar here indicating the same size for each so a great slide to review for test or quizzes another review slide uh, the cell cycle here it specifically points out animal cells because it won't have that cell plate forming in cytokinesis just another way to kind of review and make sure you're understanding and knowing all of the steps uh, here's a slide here showing cells actively growing in a root tip where there's a lot of mitosis going on. I could easily point to one of these and you should be able to identify what stage it is based on visual observations. So let's go through some of that. Remember in the description there is a link to all these slides and you have the answers. You're welcome to pause them all. I'm going to run through these slides here and go over the answers. So this is the first one. Then to the second one, which has pointing to two different cells here. The third one, again, two different cells. And again, this is in a plant cell. And the fourth one, what phase of mitosis are these two in? So if you want to pause and go back or look at the description for the links to the slides, you can look at those more. Now we get to the answers. So the first one was metaphase. Again, they're all kind of lined up on that plate. may not be 100% perfect, but we do see a distinctive line form. Interphase and anaphase. Uh, here, they're not lined up on the plate. They're getting pulled apart. You see that? In interphase, we see the distinct nucleus and nucleolus. Prophase, we're starting to see that condensing. And anaphase, again, being pulled apart a little bit more distant here. Telophase, we're seeing that cell plate kind of starting to form a little bit. Two cells uh, almost complete with their division process. And then prophase here, we're seeing the DNA being condensed here. Link to some videos that might be uh, helpful in looking at the descriptions here. And you're also welcome to go back and review the slides here. Thank you.